In the last eight years, even the judiciary has not been spared under the Modi Raj. The regime has used the approach of three eyes to intimidate, interfere and influence the judiciary, judges and the system to control the narrative. For example, the recent case with Nupur Sharma or when a high court judge was threatened with a transfer. That came and sat with me and he said, he says, giving an example of transferring of one of the judge to some other district. I'm, I, I will not hesitate to mention the name of a judge also. He came and sat by the side of me and there is a threat to this court. I am going to protect the independence of judiciary at the cost of my judgeship. This should not happen. In the last eight years, the Modi regime has also used the tactic of three S's to sabotage, subjugate and subvert even the last pillar of our democracy, the judiciary. By selectively delaying or selectively appointing the judges to the court or by forcing ex-judges to write against the court to an extent of running an online campaign be smirching the apex court. All this is done to promote or create a section of the judicial system that protects, promotes and propagates the wrongdoings of the present regime. Just think, if the judiciary, the judges, the law itself is not safe and free in India, under the Modi government, what will happen to you?